for the first time in six years, the CDC has updated its guidelines on opioids. They focus on how the drugs are prescribed for pain. News Channel 5's Amelia uh, Young is live with more this morning. So how will these new rules make a difference, Amelia? Well, Amy, they're going to make a big impact when it comes to individualized care by focusing on a specific dosage that a person needs by their own means instead of just how high a dosage can go. Now, the guidance now covers almost all outpatient pain instead of just focusing on chronic pain. There's also more details on the risk of reducing a dose for a patient who has a long term opioid prescription. It comes at a time when CDC data shows the rate of opioids being prescribed is actually decreasing legal pressure and high overdose numbers could have played a role in the new guidelines, but those typically get updated every three to five years anyway. A group of doctors, though, have been petitioning for changes like this and are calling the move a step in the right direction. They also include the idea that if they do poorly, when you reduce the dose, you could reverse that taper. And that's a big deal because many doctors were previously taught to never reverse a taper, even if what they were doing was causing the patient to die, which is a crazy ethical situation, but one that we continue to see to this very day. Well, if you are prescribed opioids, it's an important reminder just to talk to your provider about if you do need to be on those opioids, how long you'll be on them, and also the potential risks that are involved as well.